and welcome to Team 1's submission for Management 375 Spinal Project. Um, my name is Lindsay Gamble, I am the team leader for Team 1, and on behalf of my team, Sadaf, Josh, and Dania, um, I will be submitting um, this presentation. So to start off, uh, we'll start with the stages of team development. So there are four stages of team development. Um, nor or forming, norming, storming, and performing. So our team believes that we are in the norming stage of development. So really what the norming stage looks like is the team is um, already formed, they've already established a few um, common ground uh, areas between the, the, the team members. So they have um, gotten to know each other a little bit and they're starting to work through the areas of um, the tasks that they're doing. And so in that, they are uh, starting to provide feedback, which is what we believe our group was starting to do. Um, and they had created a clear vision, which our vision was really just to be successful in uh, Management 375 this semester. And also, the norming stage is where roles were really formed. So because of a couple of setbacks, um, at the beginning of the semester and a couple of challenges with motivation, um, our group had a little bit of a late start and so we're, we feel that because of that we're just now jumping off into the norming stage. So as I mentioned, the norming stage is uh, where the team roles are just now getting starting to get established. So with that said, I'm going to go into uh, each team member very briefly, very quickly um, and just say what the team roles that we feel each team leader had. So, uh, with myself, Lindsay, uh, the task facility, facilitating roles that I stepped into were direction giving and enforcing. Um, primarily as a team leader, uh, my role was to really help the group understand the assignments and um, make sure they were submitting the assignments the correct way, getting them done on time, understanding the directions and what they were supposed to do with each assignment. Um, so I acted also as an intermediary between Coach C and the team to answer questions. Uh, and enforcing, I tried to keep the team on task during the uh, team assignments, especially the team discussion, to make sure that the discussion was um, related to the task at hand and not um, something else. And so my relationship building roles actually go hand in hand with my task facilitating roles. With relationship building, um, I feel that developing goes hand in hand with direction giving. I try to assist others with the development of their um, assignments and assessments throughout the semester, which really just me, meant me um, helping give clarification and direction and answering questions and um, confronting. So, Really confronting, I feel like, goes with enforcing because what I was really confronting was the unproductiveness of the group and trying to keep the group on task. So whenever there would be something that was off task, I would have to come in and be the enforcer or um, confront the unproductive behavior and redirect it to a more productive behavior. So next is Sadaf. Um, for task facilitating, she uh, stepped into the information giving and process analyzing roles, especially with the information giving role. Sadaf was one to have read the assignments, the text, and the assessments before a class, so she really had a good grasp on what was going on in the class and was able to answer clarifying questions as well. And with relationship building, she was definitely an empathizer and an energizer. So um, whenever someone would come in with whatever was going on in their lives or whatever their feelings were on the class or that, that day, um, she would try to empathize and say, you know, I really, I understand, I feel um, that or I, I get where you're coming from. And she would also try to encourage the team and um, energize the team to continue to perform. So next is Josh. So Josh was the information seeking and elaborating role. So Josh definitely asked a lot of those clarifying questions. Um, in class to make sure that he knew exactly where um, he was supposed to be, what he was supposed to be doing, and what the assignment called for. And then he was also a harmonizing and consensus building role. Um, for the relationship role, and so definitely with harmonizing, um, he would find those commonalities. He would say, um, 
with whatever we were talking about. I know one day we talked um, a bit about um, career paths for our future, and he definitely heard a lot of people have some similar, um, not necessarily similar desires for specifically where they wanted to work, but he would say, oh, I hear somebody saying they want to help people, and you also want to help people. That's great. Um, so trying to find those commonalities. And last is Dania. So for her task facility role, she also chose information seeking and process analyzing. So for information seeking, along with Josh, she really asked those clarifying questions. Um, and for uh, process analyzing, she really just paid a good amount of attention to um, how we were working as a team and would occasionally make comments about the way we were working as a team. And um, she noticed who how people, you know, took notes, took notice of that, or noticed how people would go about the work at um, hand. And for relationship building, she also chose developing and empathizing. She was definitely one to come in and say, I know how you feel. Um, and she would also, because she asked those clarifying questions, she was one to give answers as well. And really quickly, um, some of the suggestions we made for improvement were just to establish a sense of meaningness, overall meaningness for the class up front. Um, just is making that connection between the reason why we're learning about ourselves and how that can help us in the workplace would really help people to desire to do their work and stay on task. For lectures, to post the PowerPoint slides to Canvas so that students can take notes along with the PowerPoint slides rather than feeling like they have to write down everything on the slides. And lastly, um, these are more suggestions for improvement just for our group. One is to establish better communication as a group. Um, our group really wished we would have started off with text messaging at the beginning, um, but that didn't happen until later on in the semester. So uh, we think that just encouraging groups to do that at the beginning would be really helpful and help groups succeed earlier on. And then to provide regular feedback, especially from the professor to the groups, so that the groups can gauge how they're doing in uh, relation to other groups. So thank you so much for your time. Uh, this has been Management 371 or 375 Team One's group presentation.